Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Let the content of this video go ahead and smash that like button. Let the content of this channel go ahead and hit subscribe, man. It's a big, big night for the Ravens flock. First preseason game of the season is upon us. We're going against the Tennessee Titans, as we know, in the bank, uh, front of that home crowd. So what I want to do is I wanted to point out four guys that I'm going to have my eye on. And I think you guys should pay attention to as well when you're watching the game tonight. Uh, usually I don't watch the entire first game of the preseason, but I may watch a little bit more tonight just to see um, how these guys play. And because it's a little bit more anticipation with this season, you know what I mean? It feels like um, a little bit more is at stake. You know, after what happened last year, it's like I just want to see Ravens football again, right? Um, so four guys that I'm looking out for, two on offense, two on defense. And the first guy I'm going to start with is uh, Jalen Moore, man, wide receiver, um, undrafted in 2020. He's been on the Ravens practice squad, I believe, the last two years. And now this year, this offseason, he's kind of made, I don't want to say a jump cut. I don't want to be dramatic about what he's going to do for the team. But he's put himself into position to make the roster. And that wasn't the case before. You know, he was straight a practice squad guy. So, you know, undrafted out of UT Martin. Um, about 5'11", 190. So not the biggest receiver, but he's been making big time plays all in training camp. He's a guy whose name that I've heard um, even mentioned in some wide receiver four kind of things, you know. So that'll be big for him. Preseason is going to be really big to see if he can make this team. I'm interested to see what he does tonight. So Jalen Moore is a guy that I'm get, I have my eye on. All right. So the next guy, I'm um, going to go offense, defense, offense, defense. So the next guy is a defensive guy. Uh, fourth round draft pick, uh, Pepe Williams. Now, Pepe Williams is one of my, I think, favorite rookies in this class. Just because of his intensity, the way he plays, and like the um, the fearlessness of how he goes about his job. Now, I want to see if that intensity can transfer over to the field tonight. And I also want to see a couple things with Pepe Williams. Now, he's a smaller corner, right? I want to see if, if, if the time comes, I want to see if he can tackle in the open field. All right? That's going to be very, very important for him if he can tackle an open field, tackle in an open space. Because I'm looking at it right now. He's about 5'10", a buck 80 the last time, uh, you know, it was officially listed. So he's a smaller corner. So can he come up, wrap up, hit somebody in the leg, and then he get him down to the get him down to the ground, make that play, all right? See how his coverage skills are. He's been making plays on the ball. I believe he had a pick six uh, a couple days ago, maybe last week. I, I did that in one of the training camp updates. I told you guys about that. So I want to see what Pepe Williams has tonight, all right? I want to see if that momentum he has from – Training camp is rolling into the games. All right. Now, going back on offense, wide receiver Tylen Wallace. Now, Tylen Wallace is a guy that we expected a lot from this offseason. And I'm not going to lie, as of right now, he hasn't delivered. He's a guy that's been slightly disappointing. Um, his name hasn't jumped off the screen. Um, his play hasn't jumped off the page to reporters, to the coaches, to anybody right now. It's kind of just been, you know, flat up and down, not too much to really go on positively about Tylen Wallace, right? I seen him make a couple catches in the stadium practice, but he was quiet for most of that when I seen him in person as well. So tonight's huge for Tylen Wallace. Can he stake his claim on his team as a guy who should get playing time? Because for him, I believe he's safe for making the roster, uh, but can he stake his claim as somebody who should get playing time? That's what's really going to be important. The Ravens have three receivers right now that I – I would trust to go play a, 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 a game that counts today. They're going to need more than that, right? So Tyler Wallace, he needs to fill in and actually make a play and actually show up tonight. These are guys that are going to, that he's going against that are trying to make the team. So they're going to give him their best shot on Tennessee. They're, they're going to give him his best his best shot. So I want to see if Tyler Wallace can step up to the plate, make some plays tonight. Because I think, I think the talent is there. He could just be in his own head too much, thinking about it, overthinking. And I'm hoping that when he gets out onto that field, all that goes away. He's just able to play ball. So I'm hoping for a big night from Tylen Wallace because um, the talent is there. It really is. He just has to put it on the field. So I'm hoping that we see that tonight. All right. Now, last um, last player that I'm going to bring up is that's somebody that I talked about as well um, in these uh, training camp videos. And that's David Vereen, undrafted corner from uh, Newberry College in South Carolina. Now, he's been popping up the last week making plays, and I think that it's just cool when you see a guy that you didn't know about and you're starting to hear his name in the reports. So I want to see what he does in live game action. Now, the Ravens have a lot of corners, so this isn't really about making a team. This could be for a practice squad spot. This could be for, 
you know, auditioning for another team entirely. But I'm interested to see what David Vereen has tonight. Um, there were days where he wasn't allowing many catches. Uh, he was sticky in coverage, almost made it, almost made a couple of interceptions. There were days where he gave up some plays. It's the life of a cornerback, you know? So I highlighted two wide receivers and two corners. Now the wide receiver part is obvious. We know why. We don't have to keep talking about wide receivers. I just did a video about wide receivers. We know why wide receivers get highlighted for the Baltimore Ravens. So those guys, I need to see what they have. All right. And cornerback, it's a passing league. Ravens gave up a lot of passing yards last year. I want to see what the, what these corners have on the team. So it's only the first preseason game. It's going to be a lot of backups, but it should be fun to see what they have. And even in the Titans, they got, you know, Traylon Burks and Malik Willis, who uh, I expect to see at least some tonight. So interested to see how that, how that matchup goes as well. Uh, the Titans are a team that's going to give their best effort. Mike Vrabel is a tough coach. Uh, he runs a tough team. So it's going to be a challenge for the Ravens. And that's what I like to see. That's what I like to hear. And I'm excited for the game. So basically, I, when, I, when, I, when I picked up these four players, right, I didn't want to pick out, you know, Kyle Hamilton. You know, well, Linda Bond's not going to play because of the injury. Um, you know, Travis Jones. Obviously, these are guys that we want to see. But, you know, these are, these are well those are the well-known names. Isaiah like these are the well-known names. I wanted to see guys, and I wanted to point out guys that had maybe not as well-known, but been doing some things in training camp that you guys should keep an eye on. So that was the point of this video. Uh, we all watch the game tonight. Come back, comment on this video. Tell me who stood out to you, and tell me uh, maybe who you were a little disappointed in so we can get it from both sides, all right? Uh, it's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan of TV. I'm out.